it was just like there was an idea mm. and this this design was placed in front of everyone and then no one could agree on where it should go or what it should be about so we've got a kind of gone around a little in a lot of a, in a different approach um as we're a small community mm. um, Pakistani is special. Um, when you when you bring them, shoot, when you bring them all together, they you don't forget about those moments. And when you're in town and you bump into people, you're always talking about it, mentioning it. So, what better place to to create and a zone or a, or an icon that you can go and look at. We had the pleasure of having Mark here in the studio with us. He came in to discuss a powerful story around the tragic event that took place on Fukadi. With the fifth anniversary coming up, Mark has put together a very special event in remembrance of this. So check out the episode and make sure you come along to the event. All right, well, hey, we've got a guest on the show and a special guest at that. Mark, now, like, you're very new into my sphere of knowing. I actually, I, what was it, like a week or two ago, I actually officially met you. We had a sit down with a, a very eclectic bunch of human beings who I did know to have a bit of a debrief session about an amazing event that you're putting on at the end of this year. What's this massive event that everyone needs to know about? Thank you, thank you. This uh, this massive event, I guess, is Fakati Waita. Um, it's a remembrance concert, and I guess the um, the key phrase for that is um, the rhythm of giving. Nice. You know, that's that's where we're at. Um, it's a outdoor concert. It's never been done before, and I hope you all Fakatani in the sense on a golf course. This is the golf course. Yeah, yeah. So we're you know mixing things up. It's um, what I like to do. We do things differently. Down home and is uh, music on, is music on the golf course with bands typically allowed? I don't think I've ever seen that done before. No, I haven't seen it, and it was a massive undertaking to get it. Whose arm did you have to twist for that? Uh, probably, <laughs> mate. You ever, have you ever met a golf committee? <laughs> no, 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 that sounds scary. They're very precious on their golf courses, and uh, totally. and understandably because a lot of time and effort goes into them, and they're a magical space. This particular golf course is probably underestimated in its um in its aura of golf okay uh, it it's one of the only golf courses in new zealand that you have 360 views of, of water okay and then and the, and the clicker for me is i guess the reason why we've chosen or well, beach links of course for this uh, venue is it looks at Fakati. beautiful okay so let's tap into that so this is not just any type of uh, gathering and concert and music, it's for a special purpose, right? Yeah, hundred percent is. I mean, the, the driver from, for this particular, uh, concert is, is being born from, uh, I guess the golf tournaments that I, that I host, um, and, and run where we, we raise money for charity for, uh, all the first responders and, and a community that went through a tragic time. Yeah. Um, and then this concert idea came out of, out of left wing, I guess. And so. We put it in place on a golf course, point of difference, um, I guess, when you start reflecting around who and why and, and what. Mm. You know, my brother was a big advocate for giving, he, um, and he has a big advocate for having fun. So we do things differently. So the golf tournament's done way different to any other golf tournament. You know, mm -hmm. we play as eight instead of four. Um, it's Ambrose. There's two holes. There's a lot of sponsors that come on board and have amazing different activities out there to, entertain them in between holes um, and then we finish with a massive big charity um, auction at the end. Cool. So I guess the driver now is what can we do different? How do we how do we help a community come together every year and just reflect and remember Yeah. as opposed to commiserate and dwell in the past? You know, it's it's about moving forward. Yeah, I mean, it uh, obviously was a hugely tragic event that happened on Fakati uh, a few years back and uh, it's coming up to what you were saying five, five years? Yeah, five years this year. Yeah, I, I'm, I mean, 
you know, your, your brother obviously being a big part of having, you know, worked in that space there. So many uh, people that um, unfortunately uh, are not with us because of that tragic event. To have something that is a remembrance is like, that's, that's truly amazing, man. Like that's, um, that's a legendary thing to do. Yeah. So I guess the, the concert really is a kickstart to a bigger thing. Right. You know, and the, and the bigger thing or the bigger, the bigger goal or the dream is to have a memorial in place in Pukatani for the community to, to reflect and remember and come together. You know, they're like, there's, um, you know, you've got policemen that have seen things that they can't unsee, you know, they, and they can't unsmell because when the eruption happened, you know, the burns and the, and the, and the victims that came on to shore, you know, sulfur, um, the burns, all those, um, senses are heightened and, and you're not prepared for that sort of thing. You know, you've, you've got St. John ambulance people, you've got the helicopter pilots that flew out there, you know, you've got the whaling crew that were actually on the island or driving the boats and um, you've got, then you come back, you get then deeper back into the community around um, the hospital crew, the staff, the doctors, the nurses, the general community that was um, willing to pitch in, you know, and, and help wherever needed throughout that week um, long, I guess, journey that we all went through. Mm. Um, so by creating this event, it's a kickstart to get the funding together to help uh, get this, the design and the plans in place for this memorial. And so memorials, they certainly, like if you do them right, which we were having a chat before we jumped in uh, to the studio, is that you're, you're doing something pretty big and you've been gathering the, the community together and the, the, the teams that you work with to you know, present some options and now you're looking to like, you're making something special here, aren't you? Like yeah. truly iconic and really, you know, it's, it, it's what this needs, right? A hundred percent. It's going to be amazing. I like guess it's, it's huge. It's not just a, it's not, it's going to be a statue, you know, it's going to be a place of remembrance. It's, um, I, I think we talked about the Erebus disaster as a classic example of a, a tragedy that happened that still hasn't got a place of remembrance, yeah. you know, and. And I think that's a, for a number of reasons, and it's it, it was a lack of engagement and, and a lack of, and when I say engagement, engagement with the families that were involved, you know, the local iwi, the councils, you know, and and the government. It was just like there was an idea, mm. and this this design was placed in front of everyone, and then no one could agree on where it should go or what it should be about. So we've got a kind of gone around a little, in a lot of a, in a different approach, um, as we're a small community. Mm. Pakatani is special. Um, when you, when you bring them, shoot, when you bring them all together, they, you don't forget about those moments. And when you're in town and you bump into people, you're always talking about it, mention it. So what better place to, to create and a zone or a, or a icon that you can go and look at because, you know, you can have, uh, you can have a road accident or you can have, um, a heart attack or you can, like, those are significant things in people's lives. And then they, they have somewhere to go to remember or reflect or, or they can go back. You could put a cross on the side of the road. You know, if someone passes away, um, you generally go to Udupa or you go to a cemetery or you have your ashes at home. So you've got those places where you can, take your personal um, loved ones back to a spot. You know, with Fakati, there isn't that spot. Mm. You know, it, currently, you're not allowed back on the island. So you can't go out there and sit and reflect other than sitting in the water. You know, for, so for, and, and it's 50, mile, uh, 50 k's out to sea. That's so a long way away. So I guess what we're trying to create, and, and it's been through the help of the community board, I hope you uh, Fakatani community board and Nadiawa. Um, that we are going to create an open space that that'll be what it is. You know, it's big enough to be able to hold maybe 200, 300 people, or it'll be private enough to sit there on your own and sit and reflect, you know, depending on the needs of the, and the wants of the, of the community at that stage, you know, so day to day, it might be just, you might 
pick a moment in the evening when the sun's setting down at the heads and, and that's where you want to go and sit and just look out at Fakati and, and just remember. But then there may be occasions like with, like what's coming up in the 50th anniversary and there'll be families flying in from Australia. There'll be, you know, um, people coming up from the government. There'll be, you know, people from near and far coming for the first anniversary. Um, so that will become the focal point of where to, where to meet and where to host that, I guess, that memorial. And so uh, the Fakari Waiata event that's coming up in December, that is all to help raise amazing money for this beautiful memorial, right? Yeah. Well, it's, I mean, when you come up with these ideas, you know, you, you come, <laughs> like, up some... you know, you come up with an idea and you, th you think this is going to be amazing and this is what you're going to be able to create. And then you think, oh, hang on, how much is it going to cost? Yeah. And by, I guess, by the way we've sort of reached out to the families, we've reached out to some of the survivors, we've reached out to um, Iwi, um, and we've reached out to the first responders and, and got some input and feedback. And this idea is now developed into this massive project. And when I say massive, we're, you know, we're no longer talking hundreds of thousands, we're talking three, four, five million. Wow. You know, so it's a big, big project. That's a memorial. That's, that's a memorial. That's so, a, so we're gonna need we're gonna need some support. Cool. And so that's so we come down to the event and essentially. So t talk us through like what's the what's gonna happen like on the day of uh, you know Fakari Waiata. On the day, like you said, the first time we met, who we were sitting with, Ooh. Joel Shabot, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Frank Cora, yeah, you know, uh, Damon and us. A bunch of legends, Marcel. No, it wasn't like I was like, "Geez, do I get my phone out and start snapping some photos with these people now?" Yeah, yeah. And you kind of get caught in that aura, like, "Should I get a selfie with these guys?" <laughs> yeah. Or you know, but and and then, but on the other side, you're humbled. Yeah. Very humbled because you know you got Macy Ricker as well, another local yeah um, artist down down uh, in Fakatani. But you're humbled by the rhythm of giving. Yes. You know, and that's I guess a little tagline that we've sort of come up with too, because all of these artists have donated their time. Yeah. You know, not one of them have said, oh, can you, is there any chance? You know, it's it's straight away, as soon as Marcel and myself approached a couple of the artists, boom, it was like, yeah, we're in. Mm -hmm. And you got that real sense of that at that first initial meeting there. Totally. I was just like, what? This is going to be crazy and crazy cool. And so because I know some of these guys and just like listening to them talk, I like, I know what they're like. And they were, they were G'd up by it. They were so charged up to actually go, this is going to be really cool. And so even hearing the, uh, the sound system that's going to be there, the, the, the ring that's going to be there as well, which has been provided, which is really cool. This is going to be like a spectacle that people want, will totally enjoy, you know, just something a little bit different. And these are some of the country's best musicians like jumping on stage and jamming together all as one. Right. I was like, what? I think that's the cool part about it. Yeah. You know, like, we can go watch LAB, you can go and watch Cora, mm. but when do you go and watch them play together Yeah, and just jam on whatever they like to play? You know, like, I'm, I guess part of the idea around jam is, came from Pep Tap. Yeah. When I went with Marcel and they, they were doing a, a similar sort of uh, remembrance uh, fundraiser for one of their friends. Mm -hmm. And uh, and you just seen all these musos, guitarists, drummers, singers, artists, you know, there's jumping in and out different instruments. Mm. You know, Joel was on the drums at one point. <laughs> yeah. He's a lead singer in LAB. You yeah. know, he was just showcasing his talents that he's got Yeah, and expressing himself and having fun. And I think that is the key element yeah. to why this should be a huge success is you're coming to see something different. Totally. You're, not, you're not coming to see a band play as a band. Yeah. You're coming to see a group of mates and a group of legendary artists come together for a great cause and play music. Tick. Oh, man. It sounds good. I love. I'm loving this. And so, like, what do what do people do? Do they like come along and like grab their blankets and hang out at this thing, or like what's? Uh... So I guess yeah. So that's. I mean, that's the beauty of a golf course. Yeah. You know, like oh, yeah. You know, a Hobie Beach golf links is uh, rolling sand dunes. Okay. So it's like a natural amphitheater. That the spot I've chosen on the first fairway. It's got some nice high hills. A little bit far away, but great views. And there is enough room to bring a blanket. Um, Bring a deck chair. Nice. Bring a bean bag. Yeah. Like, I'm not, get cozy. Get cozy and settle yeah. in. Like it's a, it's an afternoon of hopefully what should be a great afternoon, uh, from three to nine. Cool. 
So yeah, yeah, and I'm looking so looking forward to it. It's going to be exciting, and and it's family friendly. That's the key, yeah, you know. Nice. You know, the the big thing is it's a community community event. It's not a it's not an adult gig, you know, or it's not a kid kid gig. It's a community gig. Yeah, where you can come, hang out with your friends and family, sit, reflect, um, and remember these some of the remember some of the heroes, you know, yes. the Mark Laws, the Tom Stories, the, the um, the Jasons of the world that flew out that day, mm -hmm. uh, and and risked their lives to to bring people home. Yeah, I and mean, those are some of the key messages. You know, it's, it's yeah. about them. It's not about us. Yeah. It's not about the people that. Yes, it is about the people that that lost their lives, but this is about the people that survived and this is about the people that helped and this is why we're a community yeah and that's the thing right is like coming together as a community shows the support for all those amazing legends and all those people lost as well right so 100%. Yeah. so it's about the whole entire tragedy yeah and, and we'll we'll pay respect to to our lost loved ones 100 percent we will mm. but we also want to acknowledge the great work that everybody else has done to support those families in, in their time of need Geez, this event has got all the feels to it, eh? Oh, it's got all the feels. I hope so. It does, and I mean, I just I love it even more the fact that it's a family friendly event because um, it's just yeah to be able to get like everyone involved in your family to come down and actually you know be part of this of you know, this experience, which I haven't heard anything like this done before, uh, particularly the the fifth year as well is just like. It's very significant, I think, uh, particularly for the community and the wider community as well, the whole Bay of Plenty region and even the whole country, right? So yeah. Have... Well, it's yeah, it's a it's a national event, isn't it? Yeah, uh, international event. Sorry. Yeah. Um, you know, you, I know there's a probably uh, there's roughly about thirty Australians coming back, right? You know, family members and survivors that are coming back because it's the fifth anniversary. Um, you've got people in America that are that were on there on the island. You've got someone from Germany. You've got some uh, from Korea, so you know, there's different na international folk that'll be that have been impacted, you know, and, and one day they may want to return, mm. but where do they return to? That's right, you know. So this is the significance, I guess, of a memorial is is providing a place that hits the mark around um, providing a space that is respectful to. Mm. So could you tell us more about how people can get on board with this and all the ways in which they can help? Yeah. So I guess, firstly, buy some tickets. Yeah. <laughs> Go get your tickets. Get your tickets. You know, we've got family passes, you know, family of four for a hundred dollars. Cool. Um, we've got adult passes, you know, $49. We've got kid passes for 29. Mm. Um, we've got. Uh, VIP, although they're just about gone. Oh, yeah. Get in quick. Get in quick. VIP, you mean you can hang with the artists? Oh, I, I was, t I, when we were at our uh, debriefing session the other night, I was, I heard like where the VIPs are positioned and it's like, I don't think that I've ever seen that like prime time kind of positioning for an event with like artists like this before. So if you ain't got your tickets, go VIP if there's still some left. Yeah, there's only, yeah, 20 left, I think. Ooh. Yeah, we're, um, we're, that's been popular. Snap yeah. them up. Um, you know, and, I guess that's the biggest way you can help. Yeah. By certainly coming along and, and, and sharing in, in the day. Uh, the other way is jumping on our socials and, and there's a donate button there that you can just, you know, every little bit counts. $5. Yeah. Makes a world of difference. Yeah. So it's going to be a biggie. Uh, date is the 7th. 7th. The 7th of December. Lock it in your diaries. Uh, and like you said, if, uh, you can even just like donate and get tickets. Yes, Stop you can. If you want to, hundred percent. Thank you. Cool. Options are there. And so, are you going to be doing any special performances uh, on the day as well? Uh, like with the band, are you going to be going on with like you know the tambourine or anything like that at all? Maybe with my musical talent, a tambourine would be a good spot for me. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, I might see uh, Marcel and we'll see what we can dream up. Yeah, like, yeah. Well, you've, geez, you've you've created a, a massive event already. I mean, you can probably jump on stage and play a tune with uh, with the gang as well. Yeah, maybe we'll see see what talents I've got. Eh, <laughs> I, mean, I might be better just sticking to my golf. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Well, we really appreciate you coming in and um, yeah, just just sharing this uh, the the story behind this amazing event. And uh, like you said, it's about the community coming together for something really special for this. And it's just I'm I'm blown away of like how you've managed to pull this to, together and the scale of things of what it is, I think the community is going to be absolutely blown away and what a special day for everyone to come together 
and uh, and remember. So you've done an awesome job, man. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Really appreciate it. And um, you know, it's it's what I guess part of the part of the driver is that's who we've become. You know, a community that sticks together. Mark, thank you so much for coming in, man. We're really looking forward to coming out to the event and obviously we'll be staying in touch between now and then at least anyway. So let us know if there's anything else we can do. And if you're watching this and you're thinking, I actually can help Mark out with some of the things that uh, I've got at my disposal for this uh, beautiful event, then reach out to him. I'm sure you'll be like keen to uh, hear from other people that might want to help support this in, uh, event in any other way, right? Perfect. 100%. We'll take donations. We'll take auctionable items. There we go. We'll rhythm a giving. Yep. <laughs> we'll take anything. To yeah, we'll give a flow, yeah. all that kind of stuff. So yeah, man, all good. Thank you so much for joining us on the show. I appreciate you guys.